So what is the respiratory system and how is it organized? Well, the respiratory system is responsible for breathing. Respiration means taking in oxygen to your cells through the lungs and breathing out carbon dioxide. The organs of the respiratory system include the mouth, the nasal cavity, the trachea, the bronchi, the bronchioles, which you can see up here dividing out further, and the alveoli. In addition, we have a muscle called the diaphragm. And these alveoli make up two lobed structures called the lungs. So how does the respiratory system work? Well, in order to take in oxygen and breathe out carbon dioxide, we get a message from the brain stem inside the brain for the diaphragm to contract. As this diaphragm contracts, it forces air into the mouth okay, or nasal cavity through a contraction of this muscle and an increase in the ability for this air to enter the alveoli in the lungs. So how does the air travel from your mouth into the lungs? Let's go over the path of oxygen. Path of oxygen first enters through the nose or the mouth, then enters the pharynx, which is the upper throat, followed by the larynx, the lower throat, where the voice box is housed. Next, it travels down a long tube surrounded by circular cartilage tissue called the trachea. Be careful that you don't run while eating your food because this little flap called the epiglottis can get confused and allow food from your uh, esophagus to enter the trachea instead causing you to choke. Okay, So from that trachea we've got oxygen entering lungs through the bronchi and then the bronchioles and then into these structures called alveoli. They're tiny air sacs where gas is exchanged. Oxygen is exchanged for carbon dioxide inside the alveoli and is surrounded by tiny capillaries where the oxygen and the waste enter and leave to go to or leave the rest of the body. Check out our other videos about how oxygen and carbon dioxide gases are exchanged in the lungs and enter the circulatory systems, and how humans inhale and exhale.